Hello first graders, today is Monday, March 23rd, 2020, and today Ox, Stella, and myself are going to be telling you about what you're doing today. So for language arts, um, for reading, I would like you to follow the calendar instructions for the shared reading book. Remember the shared reading book is the purple one that says shared reading on it. You are going to be reading the first text out of there today. Then you're going to read out of your book bag, maybe for about 10 or 15 minutes. After that, you can listen to a family member read a book or one of the attached read aloud pages. There's also a video of Mrs. Merch reading School Days on YouTube. For writing, you're going to follow the prompt, what is technology you have at home? What about at school? And how do you use technology every day? If you look at the writing page, I have some sentence frames there for you to use. If you have your own, you may use those as well. If you want to write a little bit more, then you can look at the optional writing page and add something else. We're also going to be working on nouns today, singular and plural. I'm going to show you your worksheet. If you go into your packet that says Monday, March 23rd, 2020, you'll see a page that has um, a reminder that nouns are people, places, and things. And then on the next page, you're going to follow the directions. How many singular nouns can you think of? Write them down and then make them plural. So as you can see, I wrote down the noun school, which is a place. And I added an S to the end to make it plural. So it became schools. If I have a noun like fox that ends in an X, when I make that plural, Instead of adding just an S, I'm going to be adding an ES as well, okay? Your next assignments are math. You're going to be doing the 7-6 math page. I'll be talking about that in a later video. But you're also going to be doing the 7-6 reteaching page, which again, in the math video, I will explain. For social studies, you're going to be making some paper dolls from around the world. Here's an example of one from Mexico City. You can cut out the clothes, color the doll and the clothes, and then you can put them together. Last but not least, you want to choose something from the PE Choices page, or you can do something that you enjoy doing that's um, outside activity or maybe some kind of yoga in the house. All right, students, Ox, Stella, and Mrs. Merch are signing off.